Good morning, Pre-K-1. Good morning, Pre-K-2. This is Miss Tolman, and I already miss you, so I'm giving you a big hug. Come closer, closer, closer. Oh, I feel all your hugs. I am here today to go over some math with you so we can have our Pre-K lesson at home. I want you to listen. I want you to make sure you are sitting up and your ears are on full attention so we can have our math lesson. So today we're gonna to talk about the numbers one through five. In the next lesson, we're gonna talk about the numbers six through 10. Are you ready? Let's begin. Yay! Okay, so what I have here are some dot cards. And they're like the little dots that we see when we roll the dice. They're the same thing and they represent numbers. So we're gonna do them in order and we're gonna do them out of order. I'm gonna hold the card up and you're gonna tell me what number it is. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. This number is one. Good job. Two, good job. Three, good job. Four, good job. Five, awesome, amazing. Now we're gonna do them out of order and I love how you were participating and listening. I can hear you on the other side of that screen. I'm gonna hold the number up and wait a few seconds and I want you to tell me what number I'm holding up. Two, awesome. Four, amazing again. You guys are so smart. Three, great job. Five, and last one, one. Great job. So that's how we can rec represent numbers with our dots. We're gonna show you, to, we're gonna practice now with our chart. We're gonna do some sorting of ways to recognize our numbers. One way we always do is counting. So we're gonna do that now. We're gonna hold up our fingers and count. So we have one, hold up our, our pointer finger, two, three, four, and five. We have five fingers on one hand, five fingers on the other hand, Five plus five makes 10. All right, we're gonna practice on one, one through five today. So our first number is number one. And how we make that is, come right down and that is all. Come right down and that is all. Come right down and that is all to make the number one. So we're gonna get our chart here with this number, starting with that. Our next number, it's, yes, right, number two. Curve around and slide to the right. Curve around and slide to the right. Curve around and slide to the right to make the number two. What's next? Yay, three, number three. All right, this is how we make it. Curve in and around again. Curve in and around again. Curve in and around again to make the number three. All right, I'm glad to see you doing that with me. I can see you on the other side of that screen. I am so proud of you. Great job. All right, what's after three? Four, that's right. Down, over, down some more. Down, over, down some more. Down, over, down some more to make the number four. All right, and our next number is five. You're right. Down, around, and put on a hat. Down, around, and put on a hat. Down, around, and put on a hat to make the number five. All right, so we've gotten our chart. We have our chart here for numbers one, two, three, four, and five. So I have some different ways to show you, just like I did with the cards, what those numbers look like. I'm gonna hold up the card and you're gonna tell me where it goes on the chart. Our first one is this. Where should I put this? 
Number four, you're right, because that represents four. Let's count it. One, two, three, four. This is the way you spell the number one. It's the word one. So we're going to put it under the number one. You might remember this from the one I've done before when I showed, I held it up. Number two. Yay! We're going to put it under number two. Okay, this is a long one. And these numbers are going straight across. But I'm going to give you a hint. We have that many on one hand, that many on the other hand. So that means we have how many fingers on one hand? We have two rows for the first hand and the second hand. So that's number five. Great job. This is called a 10 frame. And that means we have 10. So if we put, if we put five on top and five on the bottom, then we'll have 10. So when we do it next week, you're going to see some of the numbers fill in at the bottom. But the top row has five, so just be aware of that. This is the word for number four. We're going to put that under four. This is the word for number five. Right here, back to our dots. That's right, you remember from before. Great job, number four. And that's how old a lot of us are. We're four and a lot of us are five. Some of us have birthdays coming up. And we've been having fun celebrating your birthday. So, so far, we'll fill in the chart from numbers one, two, three, four, and five. Here's another dot. That's right, number one. So we're gonna put it under our number one. You guys are doing so amazing. Remember we told you about that chart? There are 10, but these are the dots here. Let's count them together. One, two, three. So it goes under the number three. Amazing. I am so proud of you, Pre-K 1 and Pre-K 2. All right, this is another way to show numbers, and these are called tally marks, but they're the long lines. So you can recognize them by just seeing them, but if you need to count them, you can. I'm going to count them with you. One, two, three, four. That goes under number four. Awesome sauce. Let's move on. This is the word for three. Three. All right, how many stars do you see? Think about the dot cards. They're not dots, but they're stars. That's right, four stars. So again, under number four. And our four chart is almost complete. Get a little bit more glue. How many dots do we see here? Do you remember from before? Three, awesome. Oops, that's not three, that's two. Silly Miss Toma, you're so silly. Let's put it under number three. Great job. Okay, so we have those tally marks again. How many do you see, boys and girls? Three. Yay. Again, under chart three. Okay. So we are almost finished here, filling out our charts. We have a few more to go. This is that 10 frame, and this is only one filled in, so that represents number one. What number? Five, awesome. This is the word for number two. So when you look at this chart and look at this video, you can look at this and look, and look at the words and look at the different ways. This will be a visual for you to see to practice while you're at home. Two, great job. One star, so it goes under number one. Two 
stars under number two. How many tally marks do you see? Remember the word tally mark. That's when we draw the lines to represent the number. One, awesome, it goes under number one. Our chart is almost complete. Now this one, we're gonna count it together because that slash is different from the others. So it's one, two, three, four, five. That counts as a tally mark, but that represents the number five. So this represents the number five. And our last tally mark is two. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we are going to put our number, oops, I have one more star to show. Five, awesome. Okay, so now we're going to do our counting with our fingers, if you remember. How many fingers is this? Two, so this will go under number two. How about this? How many fingers do we have on one hand? Five. So this will go under number five. Amazing, amazing. You guys were almost done. You have doing been so patient. Number one. We're number one. We're number one. All right. It goes there. Oops. Needs more glue. There we go. Then we have three. One, two, three. Under number three. And our last one, when we do four, we put our finger, our thumb behind. So that's showing the thumb curved in a little right there. This is number four. All right, so there you have it. We've done everything for the numbers one, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna do six through 10 next week. So remember, when we see the dots, they represent the numbers. These are the words, and these are the, the new word we talked about today, tally marks. Great job. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for following along with me and listening to me. And I wish I was here with you, but I am here with you on the video. Sending you love. Have a great day. So when I made the chart, I said, hmm, something is missing. I don't know what it is or what I need to do. And I looked, I said, something for number three. So I looked and guess what? I forgot my how many stars? Three. I'm gonna put it there, and now our chart is complete. Bye-bye.